Hey, what's up guys? Paul Hanna here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, so today we're going to be building this project. Um, it's a checkout summary, like a shopping cart checkout summary. So I was tasked with this project um, as a technical screening by a potential job. So uh, hopefully I get it and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on my job endeavors. But um, so I'll read you the the kind of the outline of what I was tasked to do and you know this is a this is it here but first let me show you what I ended up building actually no let's go over this so the goal of this exercise this is the email that I got from the uh, hiring manager at this company um, the goal of this exercise is to build a purchase summary user interface gif attached and linked here which leads to this uh, using react you have time until 9 p.m. tomorrow for this which I did accomplish by deadline um, key UI elements, the pickup savings tooltip. So let me just refresh and start from the beginning. So the tooltip here, when you hover over pickup savings, you're going to get that. Uh, the C item details expander right there. Okay. Uh, the apply promo code expander. You're going to see that here in a bit. Um, <clears throat> right there. Okay. Uh, the user should be able to enter a promo code discount all in caps and on applying it, see a 10% discount reflect in the purchase summary. Use Redux for this. Uh, please refrain from using existing React components out there to uh, help build this. For the pricing data, you can hard code it to an object JSON and read from it. Uh, build your UI on Code Sandbox and share uh, the URL when ready, or um, feel free to use your own workflow too. If easier, and upload your project files to a GitHub repo along with instructions for loading it up and testing it. Um, so, and that's what I did. Okay, and uh, so this is this is what I built. Um, all right, so you've got, uh, pick up your tool tip here, estimated total, um, the accordion collapse and apply promo code and keep your eye on estimated total on discount apply. You get a 10% discount and this button is no longer active. Um, so yeah, we're going to be using uh, React Bootstrap as a uh, UI uh, for the UI, and um, we're going to do this with Create React App Boilerplate project, and uh, we'll implement Redux towards the end. So uh, without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so uh, first thing, I'm going to go ahead and create this project. Let's bring up a terminal and um, do create. React app, and I'm just going to call this shopping summary. Wait, I actually want to be on my desktop in here. So, cd into desktop, create React app shopping summary, and let's wait for that to get created. All right, now that our project was created, I'm going to get out of iTerm uh, terminal and I'm going to go ahead and just open it up. Um, in Visual Studio Code, we're going to go to Shopping Summary. I'm going to open up my terminal here and uh, Yarn Start. And there we have it. This is our boilerplate code here. Um, so first thing I want to do is just clean up a few things. So in our source directory, uh, I'm not going to need logo SVG, so I'm going to delete this file. And um, in index.js, we're, um, we're going to get rid of, let's see, index CSS. I don't want this one here. And we'll delete it from here as well. Uh, we're going to keep app.css. And then uh, let's save this app. Dot JS, we can get rid of logo. We're importing it here. We don't need that. We just deleted it. We'll get rid of all this boilerplate code in here and just bring, uh, we'll just, we'll bring in an H1 saying hello world. We'll see. See if everything's compiling and looking good. There's our hello world. Cool. Okay. So now we are going to bring in React Bootstrap. So um, react-bootstrap.github.io, uh, just click on documentation, and 
pretty easy. So we're just going to install this package here um, and then add this uh, CDN into our public uh, HTML file. Um, so first, let me, uh, I'll go ahead and create another terminal, um, keep the project live. So I'm using yarn instead of npm. So yarn add uh, react uh, bootstrap. And while that's loading, I'll take this CDN here, latest compiled and magnified CSS. Um, I'll copy it and then go into our public index.html. Since I'm here, I'll just get rid of all these uh, comments, clean it up a bit. All right. We'll do that right there. And um, in the head tag, I'll just put it under this, uh, these two links here, right above the title. And I'll paste it in and then save. Uh, notice there's some formatting. Every time I save, I'm using um, Prettier. In fact, let me just show you all the uh, extensions that I am using. Let's get rid of recommended and just look at, you know what, go ahead and, and pause the, uh, if you're interested in, in just using the same, um, this is disabled, not doing anything with React Native in this project, obviously, but uh, I'd recommend these, this is what I'm using right here, so um, if you want to download um, these packages, just go ahead and pause the uh, video and Go ahead and do that. All right. Okay. All right. So um, let's go back to the first terminal. Everything looks good. Our font should have changed, to like an Arial type. Yeah. So now we know that Bootstrap is uh, has been implemented. Cool. Moving on. So the first thing we're going to do is um, in app dot. Uh, app.js who cares in our app um, file so this is what I'm gonna do I'm I'm going to create the, we'll, we'll say that the main component is the parent component is going to be app.js and then I'm gonna in source I'm gonna create a components directory and all our reusable components which get um, rendered into app um, will have their own independent directories so uh, what I will do on app um, .js is build our uh, is is build the card here. So um, let's see. So let's give this div a class name of container, and inside of it. Um, okay, so we're gonna build a grid. Let me show you grid first in. Uh, how the grid system works in React uh, Bootstrap. So yeah, just click on layout and in grid. It's just a, it's, um, so you have your rows, you create your rows and then you create your columns and the columns are based on a 12, uh, 12 column size um, format. So for example here, uh, and, and then you would size it uh, according to the screen size. So you have MD, uh, large, small, extra small. But let's say like MD, you have eight here and four here. So this is consuming two thirds and this is consuming one third. That's, that's about as much as I want to, um, review that. You guys can look into it here and research it on React Bootstrap's documentation. Um, and we're going to have to import it as well. So, uh, we'll import grid from React Bootstrap. And inside of our div, we will create our first grid and we'll give it a class name equal to purchase card, not grad, grid. Okay. And then inside of grid, uh, for now, again, let's just bring in that hello or an H1 with the hello world. Okay. So let's bring up app.css. Let's get rid of all the boilerplate code that was in there. Um, and let's uh, style the container. And there's already, Bootstrap has default stuff to it, but I'm just doing something here. 
container and then that purchase card class that we just created uh, let's do a few things with that and we want to do a width so let's see with um, 350 pixels and then we're going to create this box shadow just follow along um, you know you can google css styling for box shadows this is what i did so uh, 0 4 pixels 8 pixels 0 rgba 0 0 0 0 0.2 for opacity and uh, 0 6 pixels 20 pixels 0 rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.19 and then we're going to do a padding of 1 em. Now let's see what that looks like. All right, cool. So we've got our card, and I just said entered it into the screen, make it um, easy to see. And uh, now we're going to create our first component, which is the subtotal component. Um, let's get started with that now. All right, so. Um, Let's create our components directory inside of source. So new folder, components, inside of components, let's create a folder called subtotal. Uh, and, and just, you know, pay attention to like the caps or if I'm using camel case or whatever. So folder is uh, subtotal and then inside of subtotal, I'll create a file called subtotal.js. And now we'll just make a basic uh, component. So um, I do have some shortcuts where I could just put like RCC and get some boilerplate component code, uh, class space or RFC for React functional component. But I'm just going to go ahead and um, type everything out from scratch because, you know, I don't know who's coding along and I don't want to go fat too fast with boilerplate code. So we're bringing in React and Component from the React library. And now we're going to import two things from React Bootstrap's library, which is the row and column uh, from React Bootstrap. And uh, we're going to do export default class subtotal uh, extends component. And we're going to render and return and inside of our return we will first create our row um, now we want to give our row a class name of show grid which is uh, a react bootstrap class and we're going to create two columns and each column is going to consume 50 percent of that row so they'll each be worth six a total of 12. So we'll do call md equals six in curly brackets and uh, call that subtotal and then close it out here. All right, and then our second one, we'll say call md six and we'll close it out first before I put everything in between. And so uh, for this, we're going to inject some JavaScript in here. So we'll do our curly brackets and then our back tick and we'll do dollar sign um because we're gonna this is our currency here so we'll do dollar sign for the actual dollar sign and then dollar sign and curly brackets to inject our javascript and we'll, we're gonna pass in prop so this dot props dot price and when we render the subtotal component into app.js app will have a state of price um or the subtotal price which we'll pass in and it'll show up where it needs to show up so all right, cool. We're good there. Uh, let's save that. And um, so let's see, we did, we want to, okay, so in app.css that show grid, we want to just style it within purchase card. So purchase card show grid, and we want to do padding bottom uh, to be 1.5 EM. All right, and now we're going to import this into app.js and uh, we'll pass the prop. 
So uh, under the React Bootstrap, uh, let's go ahead and import subtotal from components directory, subtotal and subtotal. And um, we'll replace the H1 with subtotal. And we'll uh, pass in that prop, which is price. We'll keep it blank for now because ne uh, we want to create our, uh, we want to initialize app with a state. So we got to build a constructor. Um, so right before render, we'll do constructor props, super props. And this dot state equals, so we'll do total is 100. Um, so now that value is this dot state dot total. That's what we want in here. So this dot state dot total plus we're going to do this uh, to fixed method. Um, it's good for any like currency values. Um, whatever, uh, argument you put in the method, um, whatever number you put, that's how many, uh, numbers will show after the decimal point. So I'll just show you right now. Uh, if we go back. Okay, so we got subtotal and it's a hundred dollars. Now I did just put one hundred here. Like if I was to put five, you're just gonna get five zeros at the end. So and we don't want that, right? Right. Okay, moving on. So now we're gonna create our pickup savings component, and that's the one with the tool tip. Um and uh it'll also have uh, just a, a fixed price, so we'll pass in a props um, into app here, and it'll be a savings amount um, based on you know the buyer selecting that uh, some option that we're not creating, obviously um, that they will pick up from store. So in components, let's create a new folder and we'll call it pickup savings. Inside of pickup savings, we'll create a file called pickup pick up savings.js inside of pick up savings we're going to import react and component from react and we are going to use a few things from the react bootstrap library import row column tool tip overlay trigger if you guys are unfamiliar with any of these, you can always look into the documentation. Um, so export default class pickup savings extends component. And then we're going to render and we're going to return. Um, so first we will create our tooltip and we're going to do that before the return statement. Um, so we'll bring in tooltip from the import and um, we're going to give this an ID of tooltip. And inside of tooltip, we're just going to have a paragraph and we'll say picking up your order in the store helps cut costs and we pass the savings on to you. All right, um, and that's our tool tip there. So now in return, we'll create a row. It's gonna have a class name equal to show grid. And then we're going to do a column. Again, each column is going to have a value of six in its size. So column MD6. Inside of this first column, what we're going to do is bring in our overlay trigger. And it's going to have a placement value of bottom. And these are all attributes that you can find in the documentation. So um do look out for that and then let's close out overlay trigger and inside of it we are going to um 
do a div. Now this div is going to have a style, which we'll um, style here shortly, but we're gonna do some inline styling. I just wanna show you guys a little bit about that. So pick up savings, that's camel case. Oh, and, and here we're gonna say pick up savings. All right, and then our second column under this one here, column, and this is gonna have a style, so before I, Give it its size. We'll do styles dot total savings. And then I'll do the MD uh, equals six. I'll close it out. And inside, um, we're going to do the same as last. So we're going to create a prop for it. And back tick uh, dollar sign, dollar sign this dot props dot price okay um, now in terms of that inline styling so we could style this here and this we're gonna go outside of the class um, and we're just gonna do bar styles equals pickup savings and text decoration is underlined And total savings, color red, and font weight 800. Let's save that. Um, Prettier kind of does this sometimes. I don't like it, but whatever. All right. Now we're going to import it. Um, so we'll go here under subtotal import uh, pickup savings from component pickup savings directory and pickup savings file. And um, underneath subtotal, we'll call the component. So pickup savings. Yeah, that's the one. We'll pass in the props. So price, keep it blank because we got to give that value. Pickup savings here. It's going to be just pickup savings, and we're going to do negative three eighty five. Um, and then we can pass it here. So this dot. Uh, this dot state dot pickup savings and we're good. So let's see what that all looks like. No? Uh, let's see. All right, well, that was foolish. Obviously, I have to create a variable here, a constant uh, to define tool tip. So tool tip equals, and we're going to put all that code in there. Good, and almost good. Dang, I'm sorry guys, I messed up. Okay, sorry, this should be wrapped in curly brackets. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Hopefully you guys caught that. Should it, should work, and we are good. Okay, cool, and pick up savings, tooltip works. All right, so now we could move on. So we're going to create our tax uh, taxes fees component. Um, so we'll do that now. Let's create a directory, and we'll call it taxes fees. And inside of it, we'll create a file called taxes fees.js. We'll import React and component from React. We'll import column and row. From React Bootstrap. And then export default 
class taxes fees extends component uh, render and return. So we'll create our first row, give it a class name of show grid. Inside of that row, we'll create two columns, each with a value of six in size. And um, this is going to say estimated, estimated taxes and fees based on 94085, just hard coded. Um, and then below that, we'll do same thing as the other components. And let's not forget this time. Okay, this dot props dot taxes this time. Um, and we'll close it out. And that's very simple there. We'll import it into app.js. So import taxes fees from components, taxes fees directory, and taxes fees file. And then under pickup savings, We'll bring in taxes fees. We'll pass in that props of taxes. Let's just go ahead. It's going to be this dot state dot taxes, and we're going to do the two fixed, like we did on the first subtotal. And then let's bring in our taxes, which we're going to initiate it. It, it needs to be a number, and we're going to initiate it as zero, um, because this number is going to be a percentage of total. So later on. We'll create a component did mount. Um, we'll bring in a component did mount uh, lifecycle method and uh, shred a function in there so the value will change at the point of it um, rendering. So, all right, moving on. Okay, so um, there it is. Looks good. So, we're going to do a line break. Um, we're going to do HR. Um, let's see. Yep. It's got to be self-closing. See if that line comes in. Cool. Okay. So now we're going to be do estimated total, um, which eventually will come into here. So, all right, let's, um, let's create that folder estimated total inside of it. We'll create estimated total.js and import react component from react we'll uh, import row and column from bootstrap and export default class estimated total extends component render return and we'll create a row inside of that row we will create two columns each will have a value of six as usual in this column we'll say estimated total And we'll create another row, or sorry, another column, column MD6. And uh, close it out. What we want to do here, oh, you know what? I made a mistake. This should be wrapped in H2. If you recall, it was uh, pretty bold letters, numbers. So we'll do that here as well. And for this, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to pass the props. So curly brackets, back tick, and then dollar sign, dollar sign curly brackets. And 
this.props.price. Okay. And there's that component. Let's import it into app.js. Import estimated total from components. Estimated total and estimated total. And under that line break, we bring in estimated total and we'll pass in the props price and uh, we're going to do estimated total here. So let's bring it into our, um, our state. So under taxes, we'll do uh, estimated total. And we'll set it at zero. And we'll say this dot state dot estimated total. And we'll do the two fixed method with two. And are we okay? Are we good? No. Syntax error. What did I do wrong? What have I done? Oh, I forgot to close out this column right here. That should do it. And there's prettier doing all that weird shit again. And let's see what it looks like. There it is, estimated total. Cool. Moving on. All right, so now we will build our item details component. Uh, let's start off by creating a folder called item details. Inside of that folder, we will create a file called item details.js. Inside of that file, we will build our component. Let's bring in React component from React. Uh, from Bootstrap, we will bring in button, collapse, well, media, row, column. Quite a bit of stuff here. And um, so <clears throat> button, you know, probably know what a button is. We're bringing that in. Collapse and well, collapse is that collapse that we're the accordion style um, thing that we're doing. And... Uh, well is uh, kind of like the opposite of a card. It, it, it goes inward so it looks like um, there's some depth in, in that part of your uh, div or whatever it is that you style. And um, media is kind of like, actually, let me show you guys. <clears throat> so uh, in React uh, Bootstrap's documentation, if you click on layouts and media, this is just kind of a way, um, or if you want to list something like, uh, if you want to create a list of um, maybe something with a title and a body and a thumbnail image, like a you know a list of blog posts or items. Um, you know they've they've got some uh, media library where you can just do like media left, and that would be your image, and then body. Uh, and you've got a heading, which would be your title. So, um, yeah, so we're going to use that. And that's what that is right there. Okay, so let's do export default class item details extends uh, component. And we're going to do a constructor props super props. And this dot state equals open false. And the reason for this is because we're going to be toggling um, with the open state of the um, of the uh, the collapse. So, all right. So under that constructor, we'll um, we'll bring in our render method and our return. And we'll start building it out. So let's just provide a div, and in that div, we'll start off with our button. Um, first, we have to give some attributes to this button, so we'll do that. 
here and uh, we'll give it a class name equal to item details button which we'll style shortly um, bs style equals link um, and on click is going to be a callback um, of this dot set state and it's uh, toggling uh, open between true and false so is not this dot state dot open all right and then inside we're going to do something with the tenary operators um, I'll show you here so we'll do this dot state dot open does it triple equal false if so back tick we're gonna have we're gonna use the word C otherwise hide and we'll leave a space here because uh, we're concatenating it with item details. So item details will always be uh, static. And this, depending on the state of whether this button is clicked and is open or not, um, it will say C or hide. And we got to do it again for plus and minus. So... Um, this dot state dot open triple equals false. When I do a tenary operator, I always do it like I'm asking myself a question. Uh, it just helps me memorize. If so, give me a plus. Otherwise, give me a minus. I have to hear it, you know? And, um, we'll keep, there's a lot more going into this component, but I just want to show you the button. So uh, we'll go into we'll go into app.js. We'll import it. All right, we're gonna do that. So import item details. Um, from components item details folder and item details file, and then under the estimated total. We'll bring in item details without any props because uh, we're going to eventually build that out. But just want to show you the button. This is just regarding what we haven't used yet because we imported quite a bit of stuff. But so where's my button? Oh, okay, great. So see item details. Now, when I click on it, you're going to see hide item details and that uh, so C turned into hide, and then the plus turned into minus. So um, the ternary operator is kind of a good example as to like how you would want to build a feature like that out. Um, and um, now we want to get rid of that button highlight. We don't want this to look like a button. And see how when it's active, it's got this highlight over it. So uh, I want to take care of that now before we continue on. And uh, so we're going to go into app.css and we gave it an item details button class name. So uh, item details button and based on focus, we want the outline to be none. And let's see how that goes there. And it's not there. So here is um, here's a good example as to why you shouldn't do things the way I'm doing it right now. I usually wouldn't, uh, but it's just a short project. So obviously you can see that that uh, the outline is there momentarily, um, and this is why I guess. So I'm building I'm I'm building it each component's own directory. Uh, a good practice would be to. Um, create a CSS file for every single component and then style it because see th this style is being triggered triggered uh, before it renders over uh, before app CSS catches it but when it doesn't it get, gets rid of it so if I was to do an inline or um, have a separate CSS file imported directly into that component then I wouldn't have that issue but it's not something that we're going to deal with here and now so just wanted to point that out there All right, so uh, back to estimated total, um, or sorry, yeah, item details under the button. 
Now we're going to create our collapse. So collapse. And uh, here's a attribute we're going to give it in this dot state dot open. And you can check out React Bootstrap more to see what that's all about. Collapse. And um, we're going to do a we're going to do a div. And inside that div, we're going to do a well. And inside that well, we're going to do um, media. Oh. And inside of media, we're going to do a media.left. And inside of media left, we're going to create our image. So image, self-closing, let's give it all its attributes. We'll give it a width of 100, a height of 100, and we got to give it, uh, we'll do the alt right now, thumbnail, and then uh, the URL, the source, which is going to be a URL. Uh, we'll get it from, you can get it from Walmart, 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 and we'll type in um, OFM ESS dash 3085, that's the product, and that's the chair, we'll pick the red one, all right. Click on that and uh, hit Control and copy image address. Um, all right, and then we'll go back to our project and uh, we'll paste that URL. It's a long one, um, and that's media left. So before I move on, I just want to see if that's all there. Boom! Yay! Cool! Awesome! Wonderful! So we did that right there, and uh, now we're going to do media body, all right? Things are starting to get really exciting. Media dot body, media dot body, all right? Uh, I'm going to put a paragraph in there, so P, and then we're just going to give the title Essentials by OFM. ESS-3085 Racing Style Leather Gaming Chair Red. Um, and then under Media Body. No, we're still in Media Body. So under the paragraph, okay, let's create a row with a class name equal to Show Grid. Um, and in that row, we're going to have a column with a size value of 6 based on a medium screen. Inside of that, we will, um, <clears throat> we will, uh, we will, um, um, we're going to, Hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, we're gonna put a strong tag because <clears throat> we're gonna want this to be bold and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna pass props. So back tick and dollar sign, do dollar sign, curly brackets, this dot props dot price. And uh, we'll do a line break, PR, and then another strong tag. Uh, this one, because um, we want to have a, a line through the a price strike and the color is going to be a bit different. So we'll give it a class name equal to price strike. And inside of it, we'll do the same thing. So we'll just copy this over here. And uh, we'll put it right there. And um, okay. And then now we got to make our other column, column MD6, and 
and uh, we'll do um, quantity one. And uh, there's that. So now we're going to import it. I get rid of these annoying little things. <clears throat> okay, so, or let's style the, that price strike first. So, an app dot CSS price strike. We're going to do uh, text decoration line is line through and color is gray. See how that looks. Okay. Great. So uh, now we're going to bring in item details. We're going to import it into app dot css item details from component components oh wait a minute oh yeah i already brought it in stupid i gotta pass props okay uh we're gonna do price equals this dot state dot estimated total dot to fixed And underneath it, we'll do another HR. We'll see how that looks. Cool. Moving on. All right. So um, we're going to build our promo code component. It's going to be some heavy duty stuff here, guys. All right. Um, let's in, in, in components directory. Create another folder called promo code. Inside of promo code, we'll create a file called promo code.js. Inside of that, we'll import React and component from React. And we got a lot to import from, um, from React Bootstrap. I'll probably put that in quotes right there. All right, we'll just break it down since there's going to be a bunch of stuff. We'll bring in button, collapse, um, well, uh, form, row, column, form group, uh, control, label, and form, contr form control. And uh, that's that's it. Okay, so now we build the component, class-based component. Uh, notice I'm not going to put export default right here and then class. I'm going to do that at the bottom because um, we're going to end up bringing in uh, Redux. And, you know, if you haven't used Redux, you'll see why I'd want to do that later on. So class promo code discount extends component and uh, constructor props super props and uh, this dot state equals open false and value for our empty string for our field um in our form our little mini form and then we're going to create our render and our return and inside of return let's do a div and inside of that div uh, this first portion is very similar to the last one we're going to create that uh that button that toggles between the collapse being open or not so um Let's let's go ahead and do that. So we'll open up button. Before that, I need some attributes. So class name equals promo code button. And BS style equals link 
and on click is a callback uh, this dot set state to toggle open value this dot state dot open and inside we're going to do those two scenario operators uh, so this dot state dot open equals false question mark backtick apply space for concatenating otherwise hide space and um, and then we'll say promo code that's uh, static and always is and always will be and um, we got this dot state dot open triple equals false question mark uh, plus, we need that space too, um, or minus. And uh, what's this swiggly line doing over here? Must have done something wrong. Let's figure it out now. What I do? So um, what I did wrong? Um, I need to have the key value pair here. It's based on open obviously so now we save and now we look oh we didn't import it into app um and i didn't export it export default promo code discount save that bring it into app import promo code discount from components promo code and promo code you notice i named the component differently than i named the directory and file uh this is a perfect example of what not to do okay uh we've gone too deep so we're there's no turning back but you know just letting you know right now it's not good practice especially if you know i'm doing most of the projects uh in a different way you know i don't know what i was thinking when i did it but i did it all right so now under this hr we shall uh should bring in promo code discount that's right we'll save that right there and uh see if our buttons uh looking good apply promo code hide promo code apply promo code hide promo code great so um probably wondering um, it's time to style the uh, to, to hide this so we're gonna do that so in promo code we'll take this class and we'll style it the same way um, oops based on focus outline None. Did it do it? Did it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Apply promo code. Apply promo code. All right. So now we want to um, build our collapse underneath the button. So let's bring in a collapse. Yes. In this dot state dot open. We'll close it here. And in between it all, we'll put a div. In that div, we'll put a well. And uh, in that well, we'll put a row with a class name of showgrid and um, in that row we're going to have uh, I believe two columns no one column we're gonna do one column I repeat we are doing one column with a size of 12 And in that column, 
we're going to uh, build a form. And in that form, we're bringing in a form group with a control ID of form in line name. And in between that, we're going to uh, do control label, uh, promo code, and then we're going to close it, control label. Um, and then below that, we're going to do form control. This will be self-closing. Um, it's going to be type is text and placeholder, the value in it will be enter promo code. And then the value of it is going to be this dot props dot promo code. And on change, it will equal this dot handle change, which will be a method that we uh, create shortly. Um, under the form group, we'll create that submit button. Um, inside of it, it's just going to say apply. Like apply the promo code. Uh, let's look at things a little clearer here. So we got to pass some attributes to this block BS style equals success. So that's for it to be green. And the class name is going to be BTN round. Um, and then disabled is this dot props dot is disabled. And on click is this dot props dot give discount. So, um, so for disabled, I'm creating a props that, you know, once it's in app.js, um, and after we implement Redux. So disabled is generally like a true or false. And, um, so let's assume that I created a function where every time the button is clicked on, it provides a 10% discount. Um, we wouldn't want to, we want to disable that or do something to keep it from continuing uh, to do that after it's been pushed once or else they'll be able to give themselves a 10% discount on each click. Um, so we don't want that. And this is my way of uh, controlling that. Okay, and um, let's see. Let's see how this looks. We're we good. We're we great. Cool. Okay, great. So um, in app.js, we haven't passed any props, but in underestimated total, um, that disable promo button, it's going to start off as false. And, um, and then in the component, I'm going to, uh, sign those props. So give discount is a callback for, uh, this dot give discount handler, which we will create shortly and is disabled is equal to this dot state dot disable promo uh, button. Um, okay, so now we're ready to create our component did mount lifecycle method. So uh, component did mount, sorry, I'm using the um, shortcut button. Type it out like that. And uh, what we're going to say is this dot set state. So taxes, right up here, uh, is going to equal, and we're putting it um, in parentheses because um, 
we, we're going to do a little math and we want to follow the baud mass um, pattern otherwise it won't calculate properly and what we're saying is this dot state dot total plus this dot state dot pick up savings which will give a deduction uh, is multiplied by 0 0.0875 wait 0 0.875 um, and the reason for this is just you know in California state uh, sales tax in this county is 8.75% of the total so uh, we'll do that and then right here we're still in the set state method we'll put a comma and let's do a function and um, so this dot set state estimated total is going to be this dot state dot total plus this dot state dot pick up savings plus this dot state dot taxes um, and I think everything yeah we're good yeah okay so estimated total is based on the subtotal plus this which is a negative number and then the taxes which this number is 8.75 percent of whatever the subtotal is so um, let's say our total is two hundred dollars and we'll see that yeah okay cool great Send that back to 100 and we will keep it moving. All right, so now we're on to the part of uh, implementing Redux and the component that we're going to manage its state for is the, uh, the promo code. Now, um, took me a while to really like understand Redux and there's still a lot for me to learn. Explaining it is a whole nother challenge in itself. So um, please, you know, uh, do mind, um, I mean, don't mind if, like, you get frustrated with how I try to explain things, because I might not do it too well, okay? With that said, the first thing we want to do is uh, we're going to add um, Redux, React Redux, and uh, Redux Stunk. I'm using Yarn, um, so if you're not... You can just, if you're using npm, you could do npm install and then the name of the, uh, the packages and dash dash save. So I'm going to do yarn add redux, react redux, and uh, redux dunk. So inside of the source directory, let me just collapse all this. Okay, inside of the source directory, we're going to create a file called store.js. Um, before putting anything in there, we're going to go to index.js, which is our main component that renders app and sends it over to our public index.html file. Um, we're going to wrap app in uh, provider. So what we have to do is import provider. from React Redux. And uh, we haven't put anything in it yet, but we're gonna import store from store, from that store.js file that we just uh, op um, created. And I'm gonna separate this. We're gonna create provider. And we're gonna pass it the value of store equals store. And in between that, inside of the provider, we're going to take our app, we're going to cut it, and we're going to paste it in here. And we're just going to bring that here like that. And we should be good. Okay. Um, now, inside of store.js, this is like just some boilerplate code. Uh, first thing we're going to do is import create, store, and apply middleware. So let's do that. Import, 
create store and apply middleware and compose from Redux. Uh, we'll import thunk. So import thunk from Redux thunk. And import root reducer from reducers, which we have yet to create. Constant initial state equals empty object. Construct middleware equals in an array thunk. And then constant store equals create store. And in there, root reducer, initial state and compose. Inside of compose, apply middleware, dot 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 middleware. And then this was something that I brought in because um, in my Chrome Dev Tools, I have a Redux uh, extension that wasn't working and I just Googled in. This was a solution that worked. Um, so tools extension window dot dev tools extension f back s and then export default store so now what we want to do is inside of our source folder we're going to create two directories. We're going to create actions. And we're going to create reducers. And um, inside of our actions, we'll create a file. And that file is going to be types.js, our action types. And we'll just add our first action. We'll put export const in all caps promo code equals promo code we'll save that and inside of actions we're going to create a file called promo code actions dot js and inside of it we're going to import that promo code from types. And we're going to do export const handle change equals E. So this would be like the function that you create in the component that you're you would have met, you know, if you're not managing it within Redux. Um, almost like similar, but we're doing a callback to dispatch and uh, we're saying dispatch and inside the dispatch method we'll do a type of promo code and the payload which is what would go into the body of the function target dot value okay So now inside of reducers, uh, we want to create a file, and that file um, will be called promo code reducer.js. And inside of it, we're going to import promo underscore code from dot dot actions and types. Construct initial state, open, false, and value. And what we're going to do is export default function. There's going to be two arguments, state and action. But state is going to have a, a value of uh, initial state. 
and in the body of this function we are going to create a switch statement action dot type and then case first case is promo underscore code and we'll return dot 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 state and then value is action dot pay load and then we'll have our default switch in the event that it has to default to state um, So inside of reducers, we're going to create a file called index.js. And um, in here, we're going to import combine reducers from Redux and import promo code reducer, which is this one here, from promo code reducer and if you had multiples you would just this is where you would bring them all into so that when you import them in other places you're importing from this index.js file um, so now we want to do export default combine reducers and uh, you would list all your imported reducers in this case we just have one so promo code has a value of promo code reducer, which is what we imported here. And now we're ready to apply it wherever it needs to be applied to. So um, in promo code, um, in that promo code component, the first thing we'll do is we'll import connect. from React Redux and we'll import handle change from actions promo code actions and then at the bottom <clears throat> we're going to connect um, so First, I'll, I'll create the uh, the map state to props. So map state to props equals state callback promo code state dot promo code dot value, and then where it says export default promo code. Uh, discount so after the export default we're going to bring in connect and then we're going to give it two arguments the map state to props that we just created and then handle change which is what we imported up top and then we're going to take promo code and we're going to wrap it in parentheses but it needs to connect with here so no no line spacing between the connect method um, and then we want to so now that we have that state managed we're actually going to keep open um, i just wanted to use redux for value so i'm going to get rid of value here and then um, i need to create that so we got rid of that um, part of the state the value and then underneath the constructor so that handle change um, that we're calling here this dot handle change so what we want to do is uh, handle change equals e callback this dot prop so now we can say this dot props dot handle change which is coming from redux and uh, event so and it should be good and we'll be able to tell by bringing in dev tools. Okay, so um, now we want to uh, 
bring Redux into app.js. So what we'll do is we'll import connect. <clears throat> from React Redux and import handle change from actions and promo code actions. And then at the bottom, we will uh, create the map state to props equals state callback promo code state dot promo code dot value and below that we'll bring in the connect method with map state to props and our handle change and then we'll wrap app and we'll bring it here. <clears throat> and I think we are good. I think. Let's see here. Map state to props. What am I doing wrong? What have I done? Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. Is this thing working? Are we, are we done? All right. Apply promo count, promo code. Sorry, I'm nervous. Discount, um, lowercase, nothing. Oh man. Oh. Maybe another time. Uh, uppercase. Apply. <gasps> what is happening? Hold on. Okay, I didn't even create the give discount handler that we are uh, calling over here, so my bad. My bad, so embarrassing. So embarrassing, but you know what? We're, we're gonna do it, we're not editing this out. No, all right? Um, Cause I'll tell you what, initially making this took me like <clears throat> six hours. Nobody codes, you know, nonstop without Googling things. You're on Google 70% of the time. You know, all that shit you see in Hollywood when they're coding away and there's all this stuff coming down the screen. That's not real life. That's not real life. So if this dot props dot promo code triple equals discount. This dot set state. Uh, estimated total. Um, so that estimated total, we want to give a 10% discount. So what we're going to do is this dot state dot estimated total times itself, uh, 0 0.9. And then still in the this dot state method, let's give, put a comma after setting that state and then, uh, doing a function. To then after that happens and runs, we say this dot set state of uh, disable the button, the promo button state, and to set it to true. And I think, I think we are, we're good to go. I'm nervous to check, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, apply promo code, discount. And boom, okay, all right, all right, we're done. We did it. Um, okay, so there we have it. Um, 76 minutes and 22 seconds, um, plus that first video. Yeah, all right. Well, I hope you guys liked this um, project and wish me luck on the job. Hope I get it. Um, not whatever. It's got to keep applying. All right, guys. I'll catch you later. Catch you on the next one. I got more coming.